I welcome you to Glasgow Cathedral. There normally would be an opportunity to come here and to lay a wreath in the memorial commemorating Peter Lowe, founder of the Royal College. But to that end, as minister here at the cathedral, I still want to let you know that you're in our thoughts and in our prayers. This cathedral, dating from the 12th century, has quite clearly been a place of significance and destination for many over and down through the years. So therefore today, as you gather, wherever you may be in the world, may you have a sense of identity and connection with those who would normally, in a traditional manner, gather here within the cathedral. Again and again, this has become a place of restoration, a place of healing, and a place of hope. And may you today, wherever you may be, find hope, restoration, and a resolve to face the world in what quite clearly in a year of pandemic has been a difficult time. You're welcome here today through the virtual presence of our connected world and hear these words as you celebrate this annual event. I waited for the Lord with longing. I put my hope in God's word. My soul waits for the Lord more eagerly than a watchman for the morning. Let us pray. Living God, in this virtual digital world, the tick of the clock is silenced. There is a fool slipping, silence in the passing of time. Each minute is syrup thick. Slowly trickling one drop at a time, it's passing anticipated but slow. Help us value the time we have, to see the unwrapping gift in each new moment that touches our life. Time to love more, care more, respond more, feed more, heal more, quench the thirst of the parched more. Our actions are often impaired by petty motives, ideas of self. They bury the need of others. They hinder our response to heart hunger and woundedness. Our actions can be curbed by what's in it for me. Living God, weave a thread of prayer, prayer throughout our community and throughout the world. For this we ask in Jesus' name, present with us always. Amen. From Glasgow Cathedral to your place today. Today we remember Mr. Peter Lowe, the founder of our college, who in 1599 received a royal charter from King James VI of Scotland and the I of England to establish our college. It was founded to ensure the highest possible standards of training for healthcare professionals. That was its purpose then. It remains its core purpose to this very day. So we give thanks for Peter Lowe, for the life that he lived and for all that he achieved. This year 2020 has been a year like no other. And it's timely, therefore, that we remember all of the healthcare professionals who have acted with such selflessness, such dedication and such commitment over the course of the year. It's particularly important that we pay tribute to those who have given their lives to care for others during the COVID-19 pandemic. And we do remember all of those individuals now. We look forward over the course of the next year to seeing a recovery phase where the world recovers from this most unforgiving of viruses, where we see the benefits of vaccinations and of rebirth of different health services all over the world. Our Founders Day celebration this year has been very different to our traditional service. But the advantage of this is that people all around the world have been able to join us in remembering Mr. Peter Lowe, our founder. So we welcome you to this celebration, just as we welcome you into the community of our college, our one global college.
This reading is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 18 to 23. John's disciples told him about all these things. Calling two of them, he sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who was to come, or should we expect someone else? When the men came to Jesus, they said, John the Baptist sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who was to come, or should we expect someone else? At that very time, Jesus cured many who had diseases, sicknesses, and evil spirits, and gave sight to many who were blind. So he replied to the messengers, Go back and report to John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cured, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is preached to the poor. Blessed is the man who does not fall away on account of me. Thanks be to God for this reading from his word. Amen. Wherever we may be in the world, may we have a sense of being connected one with the other. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you, those whom you love, and those whom you struggle to love, from this day forward and forevermore. Amen.